My name is Heather Daly, uh, and I started Courageous Hearts two years ago. And this video project is a project that we are hired by the Beyond the Bell branch of Los Angeles Unified School District, LAUSD, to do this video project to get films, uh, four short films, about um, kids' misperceptions and questions about tobacco, marijuana, addiction, and also stress. And we're very interested in knowing why, why young people look to drugs um, because we want to do prevention. So what we were doing today is I was uh, interviewing kids just to uh, get their uh, uh, get an idea of who they were and uh, trying to assemble a, a small team of young filmmakers to help shoot uh, this focus group for Courageous Hearts. What I like about the kids that came into an interview today is that they all come from uh, what appears to be you know different backgrounds and seeing them all together uh, when I told them that they all got the uh, got the job so to speak um, they all had such a good dynamic um, already that I could that I could tell so I'm really excited to see uh, how the light-hearted dynamic of the group is going to come into play into the filmmaking we interviewed um, a number of students for the um, courageous hearts video project so we invited them in we uh, reviewed their application. We asked some questions about their experience and what they wanted to get out of this. We also asked them what qualities they brought to the project because we really want students to have an experience of what it's like to interview and talk about themselves. So um, we interviewed them and we selected the focus group participants. I've been working for several years now with Los Angeles Unified School District in delivering education in the area of tobacco, marijuana, and addiction. And traditionally, what was done is telling kids, don't do drugs, and giving them uh, factual information. That's good to some degree. But we found when we set up kids in a discussion, um, in a circle, where they all had an equal voice to share uh, themselves, and we introduced you know, factual information, but also opened up a dialogue for them to share their unique experience. Um, not only did we have a higher success rate in terms of kids selecting or electing on their own to quit smoking, um, but we had a really high retention. And not only that, is we had kids saying, we want this program to go on longer. And how many kids, you, you bring them into a tobacco education class and they say, we want to do this longer, it's unheard of someone from the outside coming in, outside of their normal environment, um, they're more likely to share with. And then when one kid starts sharing, then another kid will say, well, I can relate to that. And then they, they'll all start sharing. Oh my God, they have tons of misconceptions. I heard that marijuana was legal in some states, so does that make it safe? That's what they think. Uh, as a PhD inhalation toxicologist, I can tell you that that's not true. Um, that's not true at all. So that's, that's probably the biggest misconception I've seen. Um, another misconception is, oh, if I try it um, just a few times, it won't hurt me. I won't get addicted. I don't think it's addictive. I just think that people like doing it. Like they like the feeling they get from it and they, they want to do it as much as they can, but I won't call it addiction because I've seen people like stop. Like they know when to, I yeah. know some people don't stop. They'll also, they also have misconceptions about how, how much drugs affect the brain. They don't realize that addiction actually causes changes, physiological changes in the brain. They think that people are addicted. It's, oh, they, they just don't have the willpower to quit. I, th I think there's about 70% of kids try marijuana in the LAUSD school system. That's an approximate based on the study. Um, and instead of getting to the root cause, um, we address it by addressing the symptoms. If we deal with the reasons why they're smoking to begin with, we will save ourselves and them a lot of money, a lot of time, a lot of energy. The reason why most people start smoking, I think it's because of stress. Because we have like high expectations of ourselves, but then we also have our parents' expectations of us. Bullying, that's another thing that stresses out people. Um, family problems, mm -hmm. you're not doing good in school, you want to make somebody proud, like a parent, you feel like you're not good enough. And the value of this kind of work is, you know, as we continue it, 
is not only are we teaching kids employment readiness skills and teaching them a, a trade that they could potentially use in the future, but we're through video, we're producing content can be shared. And um, we also want to produce uh, material that the kids are not getting anywhere else. Let's face it, you know, they, oh, you, you have a kid that graduates from high school, they can, some of them can do calculus in high school now. But they don't know how to keep eye contact when they're communicating with someone. They don't know how to give a handshake on an interview. They don't know how to deal with anger inside in a healthy way. Or they um, have no idea how to resolve an interpersonal conflict. So um, we want to give them the tools that they're not getting at home, they're not getting at school, they're not getting anywhere else. And I have had so many kids tell me over and over again, why are we not learning this? Why is nobody teaching us this stuff? We need this stuff to be successful. Another reason we're doing this project is we're wanting to get funding so we can continue to do this kind of work. <laughs>